Hollywood is completely closed for business. Members of the Screen Actors Guild voted to go on strike. So I have a theory. These actors are going on strike, right, because they're claiming that the industry is using AI and they're not actually getting paid and they're just getting a body scan of their looks and they're using that for film. But what if this is bullshit? What if a bunch of videos about these actors doing horrible deeds are about to start coming out? So they do this little strike claiming that people are using AI of them in film without their permission. So when all these videos of them doing things that are not so okay with society, they can claim that it's not them, it's just AI. Ew. Yeah, you have, you have pretty smile, you have pretty teeth. Thank you. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know why I like going to the dentist? Why? Yes. <laughs> okay, you got a crush on Dr. Smith. That's my reason. <laughs> How old a man is your dentist? He never told me that. What, what would you guess? Is he, what would you consider an old man? Well, he's not that old. He's not that old. He's, I guess he's about in his 30s or 30. 20s. In his or 30s or 20s. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I may end up running off with you myself, you know. That's what Steven says. Steven, it's Steven Spielberg? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good director, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Experience, you know, I didn't want to go off and play Barbie. I want to go out to a club and dance. Also, don't when she worked, we're very accepting of her. Right. And we're never critical. And when she'll come back to school and try to assimilate and just try to be like all the other kids, they're... So you started drinking at nine? Mm hmm To prove a point or to feel good or to get drunk or what? Well, I didn't really know. I mean, when I was eight, I had had two glasses of champagne. And boom, I was like tipsy and, mm -hmm. you know, bubbly in the life of the party. And I felt so good. All my problems had seemed, you know, to disappear for that hour that I was out of it. And, uh, well, and I didn't realize that until I was nine. I started casually drinking. And realize Where would you get alcohol from at nine? Uh, parties, friends, bars, uh, clubs. What were you doing at bars at nine? A lot of the time it was for parties that I was invited to. 11, 10 months old. At 10 months old, what happened at 10 months old that made you know you wanted to be an actor? I just said to my mom, I want to be an actor. And she said, no, no, honey, that's fine. Okay, you know, it's really hard to watch. You could just go out back into bed and take a nappy. And I said, no, I want to, I want to be an actress. And she said, all right. So she took me to an agent about when I was 11 months old. It's commercial for um, Puppy Chow. Of all of E.T.'s kids, Drew has met with the most success since the movie. She's the toughest part in this movie for you. You had some pretty tough scenes. Well, usually um, when, when I had to cry for my, because um, my mom and dad were being really, really hurt, because I felt sad too. And I felt if that was really happening, I, went, I, I was feeling sorry for Steven Spielberg is a pedophile. Yep. See how easy that was, Corey? I didn't need $10 million. I just said it. Oh, I'm not going to talk about Tom Hanks either, who is also a pedophile. Tom Hanks, folks, is a pedophile. Sorry to... I'm sorry if this is the kind of bursting your bubble, all this information is... All set to see my new adventure? You bet it, yeah. Well, well, hello there, Indiana. Oh, yeah. No, what are you going to do here? Oh, yeah. No. Indy. Yeah. 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 Yeah
missing Brad Pitt. Yeah, because well, you know what? Um, I I love Brad. He's so nice. It was just like it feels awkward. I mean, I'm 12 and he's like 31 now, and I'm. It's like he's a man. So why would I enjoy kissing him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Samantha, how about you? If you had a chance to kiss Brad Pitt. Oh, I don't think I'd turn it down. <laughs> he's a wonderful actor, too, though. But I understand, you know, maybe you're not into kissing boys yet, so I can relate. Well, especially because Brad is 31. I mean, he's not exactly a boy. If he were 15, maybe. It might be better. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. To be naked on stage during one full song, one full song, or drink a cup of blended worms. <laughs> Answer Justin Bieber. <laughs> I have like little girl fans. I can't go. Okay, imagine that. Okay. Imagine that wasn't a problem. Imagine there was no wars. Imagine it wasn't like weird like that. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do either. I don't you know. have to fit, Justin Bieber. Uh, like, I, I will grab fit. your face. Hey, I, I saw that guy drinking his If you had to date one of us, oh. five. Had to. Who would it? Who would it? Hey, it's the Bieber. Oh, Squeeze your no, face. No, I will. No, no, I mean, no. I will squeeze your Just face. She would be a pain in the me. butt. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow. Wow. I feel violated right now. Harry, who apparently wanted to know what a Bieber butt felt like. Uh, thank you. I'm 16. I'll be 17 in like two weeks. I never remember smelling that good when you were 16. Like, that, was, that was bad. Wow. You're right. And, and what music do you listen to? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. So, why don't you give me the sex talk? I, I... Yo, these people are psychotic and sick. I mean, need we say more? Literally. The man is not all right. We're praying for you, Bieber. We are praying for you. And I'm so sorry about what happened to you. I don't know what's happening to you, but yikes. I'm so sorry.